Mardi Gras and the carnival season mark the beginning of crawfish season here in South Louisiana. That's why Holly and AJ are starting Mardi Gras off right by making a delicious crawfish dip in Holly Clegg's Trim and Terrific Kitchen. Holly Clegg's Trim and Terrific Kitchen is brought to you by the Louisiana Crawfish Promotion and Research Board, Louisiana Crawfish, Ask Before You Eat, and by the Louisiana Rice Promotion Board, Rice, a world of great ideas, and by the Louisiana Beef Industry Council. Beef, it's what's for dinner. Hey there folks and welcome to Holly Clegg's Trim and Terrific Kitchen. I am AJ Sabine along with Holly Clegg and Happy New Year to you Holly. And to you too. Happy New Year to you guys and also if you know if it's a new year that means Mardi Gras is right around the corner and crawfish season is upon us and you have a wonderful dish for us inspired by crawfish. Yes, this is one of my youngest daughter's favorite and she tends to bring all these people home for Mardi Gras and so I have to feed them all. So come with me and I'm going to show you a real pleaser, it's a crowd pleaser, or it freezes well, everything. Come on. We are going to start with just a little butter. It's three tablespoons of butter. Everything's better with butter. Everything. And then we're just going to saute onion. There's one onion. And then a red pepper. Do you know there's more vitamin C in red pepper than there is in an orange? I didn't know that. Green pepper. Okay. And then a little garlic. You have to have a little garlic and everything, or a lot of garlic anyway. Holly, I can already see this is going to be a beautiful, Oops. colorful dish. Right, all right. We're going to do great seasoning. So really what you want to let do is this get tender. You want to saute it. It'll take about five to seven minutes till it gets tender. But we need to rush this dish along a little bit. So pretend like this is tender, and it is really colorful. Then you're going to add a fourth a cup of flour and just stir it so it mixes in. And that's good, sort of thickens it up a little bit. And then I'm using skim milk, a cup and a half of skim milk. I'm going to gradually add this. And this is going to make like our cream-based sauce. But remember, I cook trim and terrific, so it's really not very many calories at all. All right, so we're going to mix this up. And this will start to thicken as it cooks. And then this is light Velveeta cheese. And the reason this is trim and terrific, you're probably saying it has all this. Well, it just has a little butter, a little Velveeta cheese. Sometimes you don't need all those heavy ingredients to give it all the flavor. So we're going to let this melt and cook. And I love the magic of TV. You think my recipes are fast, these are even faster. So this is how it looks when it's all cooked. Now how long should folks let that simmer until you're at this stage? As soon as it's melted, as soon as everything's well combined and melted, you're done. And then we're just going to do our finishing touches. And we're going to add a little parsley. You could use fresh or dried. I like um, fresh, but if it's under about uh, fourth a cup, you can go with dried, I'd say. And then a little Worcestershire sauce. How could we do without that? And then, oh, a little cayenne. You have to have cayenne. You're going to have crawfish. you got to have cayenne. you got to have cayenne. And these are crawfish tails that you can buy in a bag, frozen, with maybe this time of year. If they're not out yet, and they really freeze beautifully, defrost them. And I wash them just to, you know, uh, drain them, just to get some of the crawfish fat out of it. But you can do what you want. Louisiana crawfish is the very best crawfish. But be sure when you're buying crawfish bags, look for the Louisiana, because they're not the same, definitely. So we're going to add our wonderful Louisiana crawfish tails. It's funny, when you go places around the country and you think you're bringing crawfish or cooking crawfish, they think the only way to do it is to have a big crawfish boil and peel them all. I'm like, hey, we don't do all that. All right, see, we're mixing. And this is really your sauce, and we're just going to toss it with a little pasta. Well, Holly, you, you know, mentioned Louisiana crawfish. You know, Louisiana is produced over 1,200 farmers produce Louisiana crawfish over 120,000 acres. And Holly, did you know that the first harvest of Louisiana crawfish happened in the year 1880. And did you know, remember when I went on the crawfish boat and harvested yes. all the crawfish? It was so fun. All right, Mr. Strongman, if you'll carry this, we'll finish off the recipe. You know, you talked about that trip. Uh, you know, that farmer we went to, Stephen Minville, he loves the fact that you came out to his farm and he still raves about it today. Because I did so many crawfish. It really was cool. If you've never experienced harvesting crawfish, it really was fun. So, okay, we're doing, here's, this is cooked, and this is fettuccine, okay. uh, and if you're making it ahead of time, if you want to toss it with a little bit of olive oil, it'll keep it from sticking, so we're just going to add it to here, okay. and I'm telling you, 
this is one of my family favorite recipes. It freezes so well. Add the whole uh -huh. bowl here. Add this is a pound of crawfish, so it makes a lot. I use two pounds of our Louisiana crawfish, and you might could just mix it with that. Okay. And then here's some green onions. You have to have green onions, and really, it's done. This is it. You can and see folks, all when these we come flavors. back, folks, when we come mm. back, Holly, it has a ooey gooey dessert that will go well with this beautiful Louisiana crawfish dish. Stay with us. Oh. We'll be right back. All right, folks, we're back. Thank you so much for sticking around. Holly, show folks what you did with your magic with this beautiful Louisiana crawfish fettuccine recipe. Uh, this is it, and the proof is in the tasting. And here you see it's finished, and truly, it is one of my kids' absolute favorite recipes. Now, you said you had an ooey-gooey delight to go with this. Dinner. I do, and this is also one of my go-to recipes. I think this is my go-to dinner when I have out-of-town company. These are ooey-gooey squares. And basically, it's just a yellow cake mix with a light cream cheese and egg whites and chocolate chips in it, and they're to die for. So these are both really good staple recipes. If you have out-of-town company coming in, you can make them ahead and freeze them well. And I have great Louisiana recipes in my Gulf Coast Favorites cookbook if you want to take advantage of our wonderful Louisiana crawfish and other products. Well, I'm going to take a little bit of a sample here, folks, so bear with me. Mmm. Mmm. You would not know this is terrific. This is wonderful. That's, a, that's exactly right. All the recipes do have your nutritional information and your diabetic exchanges. Now, this one might not fit in my diabetic book, but it's, I did trim it up, but I kept it terrific. If you want any of these recipes, you can go to my website, which is hollyclegg.com, and you want to sign up for my monthly menu newsletter. It has a lot of fun uh, recipes and tips, but I always say the proof is in the tasting. Mm. And while she's doing that, folks, if you'd like more information about Louisiana crawfish or anything that we're doing here in Hobbit's mm -hmm. Kitchen, you can always log on to our website at twilighttv.org. I like my own cooking. What can I say? Now, are you going to share mm. some of that or what? You, there's another one for you right there. Mm. That's all from here, folks. Have a great new year. We'll see you next time. Holly Clegg's Trim and Terrific Kitchen was brought to you by the Louisiana Crawfish Promotion and Research Board, Louisiana Crawfish, Ask Before You Eat, and by the Louisiana Rice Promotion Board, Rice, a world of great ideas, and by the Louisiana Beef Industry Council. Beef, it's what's for dinner. We are still weeks 